Boys and boys, welcome to another video, and today we have got a suggestions video. Yes, it's obviously some more of the crew, and we're just going to be talking about some of the cars I really want in the game, whether it is DLC, or whether it actually does come into the full game. Obviously, there's some more cars that are going to be announced in the next month, but these are just some of my, you know, personal suggestions, personal cars I really like, which I would absolutely love to see in the full release of the crew, or maybe in some DLC further down the line. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so my first car suggestion would definitely be a RX-8. Um, I know, I'm pretty sure Mazda, does, they don't have the Mazda license yet. Um, but I would absolutely love to see, you know, an RX-8, maybe an RX-7. Um, you know, because I, I, me, I'm, me, myself, I love tuner culture. I love tuner cars. I love everything to do with tuners. Um, and the crew it has, you know, it's, 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 it's come short in, the, in, in tuner cars. You know, there isn't an RX-8, a Supra, an RX-7. You know, there, there isn't these cars. And I would really love to see maybe a, a tuner. DLC where they literally have a whole pack of cars, like 10 or 20 cars dedicated to tuners, you know, so, you know, maybe, maybe they might be a Super in there, there might be a RX-8 in there, there might be an RX-7 in there, a Sylvia, you know, an Integra, you know, just a huge bunch of, you know, tuner cars. Obviously my main, my main two choices would be um, the RX-7 and RX-8, because I just love those two cars, I absolutely love them to bits. Um, but on the, on the side, I guess you could say a Supra maybe. Um, I would love to have a Toyota Supra in there. Um, I'd also love, obviously, the Integra, and the Integra is absolutely a great car. Um, one of the older Civics would be great as well, you know. I mean, the, the, uh, the Civic is known now for being, you know, one of those kind of chavvy, but like, it, it's, it's one of those cars that's kind of chavvy, but it's really, really known for uh, being very popular in the tuner scene. Um, maybe seeing a. I don't know actually. <laughs> tuna cars, tuna cars, tuna cars. A 240SX, that could be pretty cool. Maybe seeing a 240 in there. The list goes on really. A, a 350Z as well as a 370Z. Um, ooh. I'm trying to think of cars now. It's really, really hard to think of tuna cars on the spot. Um, maybe a Sentra as well, you know. I, I, mean, I mean, you know, the list can go on for cars that, that really should be in the game, you know, tuner cars that should be in the game. But I, I, I would definitely say, you know, tuners needs to be added into the full release. Um, or or in, maybe in some DLC. If, if you sell that in some DLC, I would most definitely buy it because, <laughs> to be honest, um, that's the main reason why I'm getting the game, if that makes sense, is to do up a tuner car. Like, I just want to get my 370Z, get my, you know, my Skyline, and just do it up, you know, that's what I want to do, you know, alongside, obviously, my Lamborghinis and such. So, I guess the, the first, you know, group of cars would be tuner cars, you know, obviously, mentioning all the ones I mentioned just a minute ago. Um, I would love to see, you know, them cars making full release. Okay, now some exotics. Now, for me, myself, I'm not really a muscle topper guy, so I'm probably not going to talk too much about any muscle cars, just because I'm not really too interested. I I'd much rather have, you know, a nice German hatchback or a, or a Japanese JDM icon. Um, so I'm not really too big into, in into muscle cars, but there's definitely a few exotics I would like to see, uh, you know, in, in DLC or in full release, you know, that, that, that maybe haven't been included. So the first one I would say is the Lamborghini Huracan. Obviously, that's the cover car for Forza Horizon 2. There may be some license restrictions around that because obviously, you know, the game, um, well, obviously Horizon 2, they might have some lockdown on, you know, who actually can use the Huracan, Huracan and what, whatnot. So maybe that, that might be a bit hard to solve. But I would actually love to see the Huracan in full release. That'd be so, so good if we could actually see the Huracan in full release. I mean, for me, that's one of my favourite cars of the moment. I actually love that car. So maybe seeing that in the full release would be something that, that is possible. Um, I, I think it definitely would be. Another Lamborghini that I would love to see is the Gallardo, but the 2006 Gallardo, um, I, I mean, I, I, I do believe the Murciolaco and the Aventador are in there, but having, you know, some of the smaller Lambos like the Murciolaco, like, I mean, sorry, like the Gallardo, like the Huracan, I think that'd be really cool, and I, I, I me, myself, I really do like my Lamborghinis, so having a car like this would be absolutely tremendous. Other cars, you know, that I haven't maybe mentioned, I would love to see an old M3 in there, you know, like, Kind of similar to the um, the M3 GTR from Most Wanted 2000, 2005, um, something like that. You know, like an E, um, an e maybe like a uh, an E30 uh, in there. I would love to see that. You know, make, make it to full release. I believe there is an M5 and there is an M3. No old M3 though. I want to see some old M3s. You know, I want to see maybe a 90s M3 or maybe like a obviously a 2005 M3. I want to see some really, really you know iconic cars in there. Obviously. 
I would love to re recreate the most wanted M3 in, in the crew. Um, that probably isn't going to be possible just because uh, of the livery system um, and whatnot. But I would love to see, you know, an M3 in the fall. That would be so, so cool if they did eventually do that. So I, I do think it's possible. I do think that's something they could, they could do. But I would love to see, you know, some more Beamers in there. Because Beamers are probably my favourite car brand of all time. And honestly, besides that, I can't really think of many of the cars. I think I've mentioned every single one off the top of my head, you know. I would love to see a few Lambos in there. I would love to see, you know, um, some a lot more tuners. A lot more tuners. You like, I mean, that is one of the weak points of the crew, I'd say, in the car list, is the tuners. I believe there's only like three or four, which is really, really weak. Um, they should really have more. So I would love to see some more tuners. Um, you know, exotics, I mean, I think I've basically mentioned every every exotic I, I can think of, you know, um, I think, I don't, I'm not sure if the LFA and the GTR are in the full release, but I would love to see them as well, um, I really can't think of any more, I think I've just mentioned every single one, um, I mean, I, would, there is, there, I mean, I could talk age for ages, you know, about what cars I want to see in the full game, but these, I would say, are definitely some of the more specific ones I want, you know, in, in, like with the RX-8, RX-7, um, Super, Silvia, um, you know, M3, uh, 2005 model, you know, the, the M3 uh, 1999 model, I want to see, you know, the Huracan, the Gallardo, uh, all these types of cars, I would love to see them in the full release, I, I could go on for days, you know, I mean, we really want every single car that's ever been made, that, 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 that is the ultimate goal, but um, I guess we can only have a select few, and I would love to see some of these in full release, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you later, peace.